Hello, and welcome to our channel. In today's episode, we're taking a moment to remember and reflect on the individuals who have passed away recently. We'll share insights into their lives, achievements, and the impact they've made. Join us as we honor their memories and discuss their legacies. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you're always up to date with our latest content. Let's begin. Richard Rogler. He is a German artist and known for his contemporary and abstract works. Rogler's art often explores themes of identity, perception, and the interplay between order and chaos. His practice includes painting, drawing, and mixed media, and he is recognized for his use of vivid colors and dynamic forms. Rogler's work is characterized by a distinctive style that combines elements of abstraction with a conceptual approach. He often incorporates geometric shapes and layered textures to create visually engaging compositions. His art has been exhibited in various galleries and exhibitions across Germany and internationally. Rogler rose to prominence with several guest appearances on The Skybenwisher and other TV and radio shows. In 2006, Rogler became the third permanent member of The Skybenwisher replacing George Schramm. Rogler's comedic style is described as old-school cabaret and distinctly different from those of comedians. He was born on September 1949. He died on August 2024, at the age of 74. A cause of death was not given. Kim Kahana. He was an American actor, stunt performer, and action choreographer of Hawaiian and Japanese descent. He worked on stunts for over 300 films and television programs and ran a stunt school in Groveland, Florida, that has trained over 15,000 students. His performing career began as a knife and fire dancer in a stage show called Samoan Warriors. Kahana served as a paratrooper in the Korean War where he was captured and shot by an enemy firing squad. Feigning death, he was left by his captors in a mass grave from which he escaped. Kahana entered film after the Korean War, working as an extra, playing a motorcycle rider in 1953's The Wild One. Kahana also performed and coordinated fight scenes and stunts for numerous TV shows, including 28 episodes of Kung Fu, and made numerous appearances on other programs. Over his first three decades of work as a stunt performer, Kahana broke his bones more than 60 times. He was born October, 1929. He died at his home in Groveland on August 12, at the age of 94, died of natural causes. Beat King, also known as Mr. 713, is a rapper and producer from Houston, Texas. He gained recognition for his contributions to the Southern hip-hop scene, especially with his energetic and often explicit style. Beat King is known for his distinctive voice and his ability to blend catchy hooks with hard-hitting beats. His music often features themes of partying, street life, and braggadocio, and he's known for his collaborations with other artists in the Houston rap scene. Some of his notable tracks include, Then Leave, Get It Girl, and Pop It. Beat King has also been recognized for his influence in shaping the sound of Houston's hip-hop over the years. He has a reputation for his DIY approach to music and has built a significant following through his independent releases and strong presence on social media. He was born November, 1984. He died on August, 2024, after suffering a pulmonary embolism, at the age of 39 years old. Bobby Hicks. He was a Grammy Award-winning American bluegrass fiddler and musician with more than 50 years of experience. He was inducted into the International Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame in 2017. Hicks was born in North Carolina, and learned to play the fiddle before he was nine years old. He attended several fiddler's conventions and at the age of 11, he won the North Carolina State Championship, playing the tune Black Mountain Rag. He joined Jim Eanes' band in the early 1950s. In 1953, he was, through the Bluegrass Festival organizer Carlton Haney, hired as a bass player in Bill Monroe's Bluegrass Boys. In the mid and late 1980s, he frequently performed with Bill Monroe on stage and on records. He was inducted into the Fiddler's Hall of Fame in 2002. Bobby Hicks is a 10-time Grammy winner. He was born on July, 1933. Hicks died from complications of heart disease on 16th of August, 2024, at the age of 91. 
Don Wirt. He was an American professional baseball player. He played in Major League Baseball from 1963 to 1971 as a third baseman, most prominently as a member of the Detroit Tigers where, he was an all-star player and was a member of the 1968 World Series winning team. Wirt reached the Major Leagues in 1963 at the age of 24 and became the Tigers' regular third baseman in 1964. He recorded a ninth inning, game-winning hit on September 17 to clinch the American League pennant. He also led the team with 159 hits, had a .341 on-base percentage fueled by a career-high 73 walks, and even showed some power with hit 12 home runs. He played 1,043 of his games at third base and collected 914 putouts, 1,987 assists, and 173 double plays. He was born on July, 1938. He died at his Strasbourg home on 25th of August, 2024, at the age of 86 years old. Benji Radak. He was an American professional mixed martial artist who competed in the middleweight division of Bellator MMA. A professional competitor from 2001, Radak also competed for the UFC, the WEC, Strike Force, and the Los Angeles Anacondas of the IFL. Radak made his professional MMA debut in 2001 and compiled an undefeated record of 10-0 before being signed by the UFC to compete as a welterweight. Radak made his UFC debut against Steve Berger at UFC 37 on May 10, 2002. Radak originally was declared the winner via TKO 27 seconds into the first round, but the decision was later overturned when replay showed that Radak had the fence in his hand as he finished the final blows that ended the fight via TKO. Radak made his next appearance against Gerald Harris at the IFL 2007. He was born on April 1979. He died on August 26, 2024, at the age of 45. No cause of death revealed. Dink Widenhaus. He was an American NASCAR Grand National Series driver. Widenhaus began racing at the age of 15 when his brother built a dirt track near Concord, North Carolina. Dink's first car was a 37 Ford coach with what would become his trademark, B29 emblem on the side. Widenhouse had a successful racing career at the Charlotte Fairgrounds, Midland, Concord, Myrtle Beach and Columbia, South Carolina and Danville, Virginia. His racing career came to an end in the 1960s when paved tracks became the norm. During his racing career, he won nearly 200 races, with his record including 21 wins in one season. He was known as the Preacher because he never raced on Sunday. He was born on January 1932. He died on August, 2024, at the age of 92. Sid Udy. He was an American professional wrestler. He was best known for his tenures in the World Wrestling Federation and World Championship Wrestling, wrestling under the ring name Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, and Psycho Sid. He was a six-time world champion, having won the WWF Championship twice, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship twice, and the USWA Unified World Heavyweight Championship twice. In addition to world title success, he held the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship once, among other accolades. During his time with the WWF and WCW, Udy headlined multiple pay-per-views for both organizations, competing in the main events WrestleMania 8 and WrestleMania 13 in 1992 and 1997 respectively as well as in Starcade in 2000. He began his career in Continental Championship Wrestling in 1987 under the masked wrestler persona Lord Humongous. He was born on December, 1960. He died on 26th of August, 2024, at the age of 63, died of cancer. Rina Rolska. She was a Polish singer, dancer and actress. She studied opera singing with Professor Jedwiga Rice. She debuted in 1955 at the Guardian Hall as a dancer with the Polish Radio Dance Orchestra. Between 1956 and 1960 she performed in the Cabaret Pińska. In 1961 Rolska performed at the Sawpot International Song Festival with Marek Sart's composition The Song Will Tell You the Truth. Rina Rolska took part in the National Festival of Polish Song in Opola in 1963 and many times after that. 
In the years 1971 to 1978 she acted at the Serena Theater in Warsaw. During her career in show business, Ralska recorded 12 albums and performed in many countries, including the Soviet Union, the United States, Canada, Mongolia and Belgium. She was born on January 1932. She died on 27th of August, 2024, at the age of 92, cause of death is unknown.